Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another Swap Meet Madness video for you guys today. Uh, I think I'm gonna be going to the Swap Meet today, but just before I turned on this video, I uh, took a rapid at home COVID test to see if I'm COVID free or if I do have COVID. And if I do, that means I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to go to the Swap Meet today. I just took this test about 15 20 minutes ago the rapid at home covid-19 test and I, uh, the, I was, if i have covid that means i'm supposed to have two line two red lines and if i'm clear and i'm good i only have one red line well it looks like i'm officially covid free so right now i'm going to take a shower get ready and get my ass on over to the swap meet i just got done taking a shower and everything like that Got my little sweater on, and uh, waiting for my lift ride uh, to come to bring me up over there. But I wanted to share something with you guys uh, that I found out uh, last night when I was going through like you know one of my boxes in my garage over here that's like you know filled with like DVDs and Blu-rays. I have two copies of Be With Somebody Do you know Be With Somebody Had the Complete Series and it includes uh, Do America the Movie uh, on DVD that I just added on my eBay store. Because I don't need two. For some reason, I had two sitting in, in one of my boxes. So I ended up putting uh, one of these ones up on my eBay store. So if anyone's interested, hit me up. Uh, link down, down below to my eBay store. I almost forgot one important thing. Come on. Come on. Yeah. The bag I need in case I find some cool stuff to buy. My little Blockbuster tote bag. All right, now I'm ready. Just made it into the swap meet, guys. Uh, heading on over to my guy, Jaime. Oh, it looks like he puts out some movies already out here. He usually has like a crowd of people that like stand by his truck to see, you know, what things came. You know, getting filmed here. The best of the Mickey Mouse Club. Laurel and Hardy up in here. Little Rascals, White Christmas. He has some DVDs here. Some old school kind of DVD stuff here. Well, I thought that stack was the only one they had. They have other ones here in a big tub of, uh, you know, different DVDs and things. Hopefully I come across something here. That'd be kind of rad. I was thinking about getting that Mickey Mouse Club one, but that's kind of, yeah. See the Chucky up in here. Shattered Image. What is this? They got some Power Ranger stuff going on. Power Ranger Ninja Storm. Some PlayStation 4 games. Barbie game uh, up in here. Dead Mary. We'll see. We'll see. It looks like someone's collection that he that he, they had from like a storage locker or something in here. Hmm. I'm gonna turn this off and see if I find anything. Well, guys, I uh, just got done looking at Jaime's booth that he has over there, and uh, the couple things that I was thinking about getting were empty. Didn't have like all the discs in them and stuff. So I'm just like, oh well. Well, just came across another booth that has like little tubs of uh, DVDs and stuff in them. Uh, we'll see if we're gonna get something cool in here today. Who knows? Dollar, película, movies and DVD, one dollar. You guys have any Blu-rays at all? I don't know. Well, okay. No, no worries, man. All a dollar in here, so let's see if there is anything to be had today. Oh yeah. Hopefully something cool. They do have uh, Gone with the Wind on VHS in there. Oh, look at, look at this. Classic one uh, from my teenage years. I always liked that that movie, Tragic Story, but I always liked that one. I think it's on Blu-ray now. I think I have that one on Blu-ray now. But the things you gotta do when you're at Swap Meets, man, you gotta check, because it seems like my luck today is, uh, so far, not, not, not that good uh, when it comes to the actual items being in them. But always gotta check, always. Never forget, never forget to check. Still wandering around the Swap Meet right now. Some booths are empty. And uh, some people are still setting up over here today. I'm glad I'm feeling a little bit better. Ooh, <laughs> another box of uh, DVDs going on. Huh, I'm listening to some music on my headphones as I'm doing this, so forgive me if I'm talking too loud. Hmm. You, you gotta be careful of some bootlegs too at the places like this. You gotta be careful. But this is classic, I like, not classic, but I always like that one duplex right there. Uh, oh, I think I see some Blu-rays at the bottom, or at least the town, the town on Blu-ray down there. Cursed. Eh. Some common stuff. Well, I found one thing at the last booth 
And I'm over here at another one. It looks like movies over here are a dollar a piece as well. A little bag of video games, which I should probably dive into. Sorry, sir. But we shall see if we find anything uh, at this little one over here. I'm more of the movie guy, but you know what I mean? Like some stuff like this, it just stands out to me a little bit, but I just don't know. I know I should just, you know, scan it, but it looks like they're probably trying to sell that as a bundle or something. But Shallow How, The Chamber. This is a Shout Factory one. This is a Shout Factory one. But there's like a lot of different stuff here, like shoes and different things, but house on Haunted Hill. Hopefully I find something. Didn't get anything at that booth over there. The lady was asking a hundred bucks for all the games and that Xbox. Not sure if that's a great deal or a bad deal, but I'm walking away. Cause all I have is 50 bucks on me today. This swap, swap usually has a lot of like different tools and uh, you know, different equipment and things like that. And uh, they even have dogs protecting things in case people try to steal things. What's up dog? What's up dog? Still on the hunt for some movies, even though I've only ever found one thing so far today. A lot of shoes and clothes uh, out here today. But you know, as long as I keep venturing off, you never know what I would find. There's some cool unique stuff out here. All sorts of different things like bikes and things. But I see some movies over here. <laughs> Let's see what they got. Well, there's a lot of cool stuff going on uh, in this one right here. I believe they're all like, what, 75 cents a piece or something like that. For the exception of like the DVD seasons, which I believe are five bucks a piece uh, that he has going on over here. Just looking through here quickly, briefly, see what the, you know, see if I find anything that's kind of unique or cool. Boxing Hel Helena or something like that. And I don't think I've ever seen that before. And what is this? Oh yeah, that's that thing with Robert, Robert Downey Jr. Less than Zero. That's a classic movie from back in the day. Yeah, there's like crates and boxes of like DVDs that I'm going through right now, seeing what they got going on in here. Like Two Days in the Valley, rumor has it. You know, it has all sorts of stuff going on uh, in here. Not a lot when it comes to Blu-rays, but sometimes you can find some decent stuff uh, at, at this guy's booth in here. Not all, not all decent stuff, but I'm kind of looking at these two at the moment, but uh, we shall see. Well, so far, I found three movies, paid $2.75, and uh, let's keep on going. I'm midway through the swap meet right now. Hopefully we find some more goodies. Just came across another little uh, box of movies here. I'm kneeling on the gravel, which fucking is not good for my, my obese ass legs. But uh, anything for the hunt. Anything for the hunt right here. Longmire season five. Is it in there? Disc three is. No disc two and one. <laughs> my luck today, my luck. But it's okay, I'm on the hunt for that anyway. What is this, they got a VHS of a vertical limit. That was actually kind of good. Kind of cool from back in the day. I wonder how much these ones are. They're probably like a buck or two. Probably like a dollar, I'm guessing. Man, the two things I was thinking about getting at that last booth over there, one of them was scratched all to hell. The second one, this wasn't even in there. I always like this booth right here that has this cool little like, you know, water fountain statues that you can get and like put in front of your house or whatever. I always like these things, man. I always do, like little like wishing well kind of things, it's cool. Still walking around the swap meet right now. I came across another booth already that had movies in it. I picked up two items there, but they were blasting music and things. So I'm just looking at these other ones where people like get like, you know, like tar Target palettes and stuff. And have like, you know, different like, you know, Target or, you know, big box store retailers, uh, you know, kind of stuff. Seeing what kind of cool stuff they may have. Because you never know, you could find something kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? Like a little Funko Pop with the, you know, Target clearance stickers on them and things like Finn and Poe. Or they have like, you know, different Funko Pops and stuff going on in here. Huh, what is this? Shazam. Or like, like a Halloween costume kind of thing. And they also have a big mountain. Mountain of peanuts. Not penis. Peanuts. How much are the DVDs and Blu-rays that you guys have here? Like they're single one, single ones? All the Blu-rays themselves, like we're asking $10 each or 320 Okay. Um, and then regular DVDs uh, that are non-anime, we're asking... Uh, I, I was just wondering about like trauma stuff that you guys have like Toxic Avenger. And it looks like you guys have like Sergeant Kabuki Man or something. I think you need like two bucks for this. Okay, thanks man. Man, they have some random stuff in here. Oh, it's not Sergeant Kabuki Man, it's something else. Huh. 
Yeah, you don't normally come across this stuff at a swap meet. Just got uh, something from the last booth that you saw. Some of the DVDs they have there are kind of expensive when it comes to Disney stuff. But I'm over here now, and I'm about to try their nachos that they have over here at the swap meet. Never tried the ones they had here before. With the way um, my weight my weight has been, I shouldn't be eating that shit. Oh, I haven't weighed myself in like a, oh, since the last time I weighed myself on video. I shouldn't be eating this shit. But I'm, I'm gonna try their nachos. Just got the nachos in right now. Just put some jalapenos on that hoe. And uh, let's try these nachos out. I never had them before over here. You know, you can't go wrong with nachos. Well, you can if you're a fat ass like myself. All right, let's do this. Let's do this right here. Are these nachos gonna be worth it? Pretty solid. Pretty solid. The, the chips are a little hard, but uh, yeah. But right now, let's head on home and I'll show you guys what I picked up today. I'm about to show you guys what I picked up today. It was cold out, man. It was cold out. Towards the beginning of the day when I went out there, my hands were cold. But I did pretty much fill up my Blockbuster bag uh, full of stuff. And before I show you the movies, I'm going to show you the three things I picked up. Trying something a little bit new. It's still physical media related. And seeing if I can make some profit on it. I, I picked up these, uh, these like, what's it called? Uh, cassette tapes. You know, blank cassette tapes. Uh, right here, Max L. Uh, and then a T, a T, a T, T D E a K uh, cassette tapes. And some Sony ones. Right here, you know, factory sealed and things. I uh, got these three for five bucks. Uh, also picked up uh, that one trauma movie at that one booth. They had um, like a lot of Disney movies for like ten dollars each, and other random DVDs for two bucks a piece. And uh, and I picked up this one. It ha I think it, yeah, it, it has um, Tiffany Shepis on the cover, but her name's not on the back of this, so I don't even know if she's in this or not. And it's called uh, Nymphoid Barbarian uh, in Dinosaur Hell. Uh, right here. Um, this one I can I can maybe get like 25 bucks for it. 20? 25 bucks for it maybe. But uh, this looks good. It comes with the insert and everything like that. Old school uh, trauma DVD right there. I, I was thinking about maybe getting the Toxic Avenger ones. But those are uh, you know highly highly produced. And they don't, they're not really going for a lot of money out there. Uh, these two I picked up for 75 cents a piece. And that is uh, Boxing Helena. Uh, right here. Got it for 75 cents. And I got uh, his Secret Life uh, on on DVD going on right here. Uh, some of these some of these are uh, have have decent value uh, to them uh, on there. These two were kind of cool uh, to come across. Hold on, I picked up uh, uh, Digstown uh, right here. This was a buck in, in one of those uh, one of those uh, booths out there. I also picked up um, something that I always when I find it I always buy it. Because it sells pretty well on on on, uh, on 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 my eBay. Sorry, I'm like I'm like stuttering today. I'm sorry. Kids uh, on DVD uh, right there. I got this one and this one, and I uh, got got these both for uh, four dollars together. You know, to, for both, I got Thrashing uh, right here's the old MGM. You know, like skater movie and stuff. And Kids uh, got those two for four you know four bucks. I got both of them together. Uh, also picked up uh, these. I got these two uh, at. Um, uh, from my buddy that does like the uh, storage wars kind of style stuff, I, I went back to his booth after I, uh, cause I usually go to his booth first, and then I, before I leave I go check his booth again just in case he put out more stuff, and uh, I ended up picking up this one, the best of the Mickey Mouse Club uh, on DVD and this uh, complete series box set, uh, both for uh, four bucks altogether, and that is um, what's it called again? As 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 time goes by, the complete series here on DVD, uh, some of the some of the DVDs have seen better days, uh, but they're not horrible. They're not horrible, but I will I will disclose that in my listing and stuff. Complete series, uh, eleven disc uh, box set right here, and Mickey Mouse got these two both for four bucks together. Uh, so that's pretty much all the stuff I picked up today uh, at the swap meet. Uh, but Thrashing and Kids, kind of cool, and that Trommel one's pretty much the find of the day. Uh, Trommel one in the complete series set right here. I uh, didn't really spend a lot of money at all. I spent more money on the lift ride, lift ride there and back <laughs> to get here, you know, to get uh, there and back home and everything. But it is what it is. As long as I make my money back, it was all in good fun. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday for another hoarding up video. Yay, yay.